Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you episode two of the Minecraft Hardcore Museum Challenge by Kid Awesome 2. This is the season four 2017 version of the challenge. Um, this is where I left off in the episode one, and I'm just going to go mining for some coal and doing that, you know, get more wood and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to leave you now. And then if I have anything exciting happen, I will be back. Well, that didn't take too long uh, to find something uh, possibly exciting. I broke right through this wall right here with all this coal hanging in here. And off to the right here, there seems to be a cave system. If I had gone around the corner here, I probably would have seen it from that side. So I'm kind of being a little bit cautious right here. I haven't put any light out here, but I have made a few torches. I have 48 of them in my hand. Well, not in my hand. I really don't like holding them in my offhand. Um, I know that that can be really convenient when you're just mining, mining, mining. But then if you want to uh, pillar up somewhere, that can be really difficult. And it just throws me. Um, for the same reasoning, I also don't generally make a shield. In fact, I doubt if I ever will. Try. I've done it a couple times and tried it. don't like it. I don't like the way that it impacts my vision. Um, so I just don't do it, and I just fight the, uh, monsters that I come on, um, in a forthright and direct manner. And, uh, yeah, that can be pretty dangerous, I, I know, in the, especially in hardcore, like this, but it's my preference. It's what I like to do. Okay, this doesn't look like it's going to go as far as I thought it would, and I don't hear anything out there. So much for that. So I will then uh, leave that lit up because I don't know where I'll end up so I'll just leave that alone and I'll just go ahead and go out here again and try for something else that might come up and be a little more exciting. And we have more horses over here. For a minute I thought they were donkeys but they're not. They're horses. I think I'm going to head over there. I can get some trees on the way and uh, look into those holes. So again, if anything looks like it's just like, woo, I think I'll do this, then uh, I'll go and I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> I am across here. I did get some coal out of the hill up here a little further, and I have a good supply of that now. I have some more wood. could stand to have a little bit more, and in fact, I think I will get a little bit more, but if you can see down in there, there's a spider coming up. He's going to come and see me right now, I think. Is he going to come? There's some more coal. Good. He's going to come all the way up here and see me, I think. But it's daytime out here. Once he gets out here, unless I were to fight him, which I'm going to do, obviously, then he would not attack me. And there's, I was hoping for some string, but that's okay. Now there is also a creeper right down in there. So I think that I will go ahead and get a few more trees first. Sun is going down, but I thought about getting these cattle out here as well as getting this sheep because of the leather. Oh, see, there's another big hole over there. I don't know which way to go, but I have a feeling that I'm going to probably be staying quite a bit underground once I get into these areas because I need the resources. I need iron and I need uh, more coal to process the iron. <laughs> and I need, uh, oh, you know, I need stone. I need string. And, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff. And I have a pretty good supply of food already. It's not huge. Will I go this way or go that way? Since the creeper is already down there. You know. No, I can't get it. Do I have any? I have iron. You know what? How much time do I have? Before. I, I can take that water with me if I do this. Where's my furnace? Alright, let's just do this. I just need three pieces of it here. Don't want to stay out here forever. I get that. Pick a little bit more of this first. While I'm here, I watch my surroundings. I could use a little more dirt while I'm waiting. Okay, we have to do almost, almost, and I'm hearing a skeleton right now. Okay, I'll take that, take this down, and I'm hearing a skeleton. I think he's in that hole. Might be over my head, though. 
Perhaps I should get a little bit more protected here, right here. Okay. Get a couple of sticks out here. And what am I making? A bucket. I don't want sticks. Silly, silly. I want the water. That's why I'm staying out here. No. Take this down. And let's get that water. All right. Now we have, I think the skeleton's right up here. I don't want to look at Enderman. There's some lava over that way, it looks like. All right. Hopefully he's not right here. It's okay, I can fight him. He's up a little further, I think. Let's go ahead and get the coal. Oops. I knew that was coming too. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Right there. And of course, I'm already facing the inventory problem. And I did just see, um, while I was wandering around a little bit without being on camera, that there is a very high extreme hill with a square top. I think it's just like right over here to the east of me right now. And I think that might just be where I might go. I kind of like this savanna area. There's an ocean out there that probably would have an ocean monument fairly close by. I didn't see one like right up there close, but that doesn't mean that it's not fairly close. And uh, there are bound to be other biomes around. There seem to be a lot of savanna, but uh, I'm sure there'll be other biomes. I need a jungle for one thing to get my melon. The potatoes and carrots need to come from a zombie gifting them to me. <laughs> I should inherit them. But I wish I could just go get them from a, uh, that village that was back. That's still very close to here. I'm not very far away from it. But we're not allowed to do that. So I can't do that. There was a pig out there. Okay, so now we shall go upwards. Let's see, where is that guy? There he is. Come back down here. Oh, and I did not switch to my sword. Oh, here's those sounds. All right, I'm gonna have to eat here pretty quick. I hear a zombie coming, but I'm gonna get back in my little corner here and listen for him. Yeah, that was a not a very smart battle. I had thought I had switched to my sword, and I hadn't. So I let him kind of get the drop on me there. Don't know for sure where that zombie is. He could be behind a wall, or he could be in that dark space that's around the corner. Not sure. But we'll find out in just a minute or two, I'm sure. meantime I can use all the cool I can get. That sounds like two zombies now. And I really don't like having my back turned to where they might be. So I'm going to climb up here instead. In fact, oops, I don't want dirt. There we go. That's a little better. I can still get shot at, of course. Now, if this turns into a fairly large cavern system, I might just use this area. It's bound to be right here somewhere. As a home. Haha, <laughs> well, it's going to dead end here, but they're in here somewhere. So I'll go ahead and make use of these things. I hear them at least off to my right. One behind me somewhere, so there must be some caverns right over here. And they could be just above me. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave enough light in here that this place would be a safe place to come to if I need it. I always figure that, I, you know, generally speaking, 
I can get enough wood and have enough coal that I can leave lights wherever I want to. <laughs> oh, there's sound. You know, it, it almost sounds like there could be a dungeon. I would not be too surprised hearing those uh, cave sounds I was hearing just a little bit ago. They were quite loud and quite resounding. Interesting. We shall see what happens. If I were to keep this area as a home, and there does turn out to be a zombie dungeon here, and that could come in really handy for some extra XP, just getting the enchantments that I need, not necessarily need, but that I'd like to have. Especially if I gotta go get that Presmarine. Okay, I'm gonna need to set up shop here a little bit at least. And I, I think they're right above me. And thankfully this is lit up because that could definitely mean having zombies being dropped on my head if I didn't have the light in here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's make a couple. Wait, you know, I think I'll make. I don't even think I'll bother with that. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I'll place it there to start with. Um, put some coal in there. And put there. And I can make a couple of iron pickaxes instead of dealing with the... Um, the stone ones. Excuse me. Okay. More acacia wood. And... I think I will use this base for a little while. So I think I'll go ahead and make a couple of chests just to leave things in. And it's my habit to then um, leave some things behind that I might want for building later on. And if I move on, I will have the coordinates for the space. Okay. I can go ahead and get a pickaxe made now. There we go. Let's get some of these extra place, pieces of stone out of here. Give myself some more stone to work with for blocking things and stuff like that. And a lot of times I don't, until I get quite a lot of iron, I don't make iron shovels. I'll just use the uh, stone shovels. They're not quite as fast, but they're also not quite as dangerous when you're like taking dirt out that, man, that bound to be right up here somewhere that you don't want taken out. So, okay, let's make another... I don't know. There we go. Let's make another furnace. I don't need it right at this moment, but I probably will in the near future. And let's just take these and just stack them up here, I think. And not make a double chest. Just uh, put down in here some of the things I want to keep handy like some of the extra wood and my sticks uh, I need to make a couple of, let's see how much wait a minute how much I have I can make two more um, I do generally travel with way too many picks <laughs> I know I've been told that and until I get enchantments ah we have daytime obviously until I get enchantments I like to have extra stuff with me so I'm not running out every time I turn around. There's arrows, good. Put that up there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the extra piece of iron in here. Put my coal in. Let's see, I'll make some more torches first. Man, there's all sorts of stuff out there that maybe have left me some good goodies out there. Okay, let's put these there. They are just dying like crazy out there. There's some bones. I'll keep those in here. And the arrows. And I'm going to throw... Wait, let's just put the... I don't really think I'm going to need those. Well, decisions, decisions. I think I'll just go ahead and put these things up here. And then just put cobblestone. More cobblestone. Some granite here. Uh, granite would go here. Llamas. I was going to say, what in the heck is that? It's a llama. 
being in the savannah, of course. That I can cook. Um, didn't get any... Um, what's the one that starts with the A? Anyway, yeah, the gray one. I didn't get any of that. What in the world? I can't even think of that name. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here out of the way. Uh, the planks I was going to make into more sticks. There we go. These put away. And these put away. And I have plenty of torches now. I'm going to leave that cooking. Okay. And so this is the end of episode two. I've run over a little bit. I left out some pieces, so it won't be too long. And I will see you next in episode three uh, when I come to some more stuff like maybe a dungeon in here somewhere. Thank you for watching and bye for now.